But if we look at the reality, AI is not able to make reliable software. But people are thinking that they will replace developers in favor of AI. And so I am asking myself, how is it possible? Then I look at the data that we have collected in 14 years of research. And indeed, uh, I see a market that doesn't have any standard about IT. Software doesn't have a German TUV stamp that tells you, hey, Matt, this is a piece of software that is qualified for I don't know which standard because it doesn't exist. Yeah, and look, I think that there's two sides to what, what you're saying. Um, one is the companies that I'm most excited about right now are companies that are writing their code for a quantum future. Meaning, we know today that the amount of logical qubits that are needed in order to run certain applications or certain algorithms just aren't quite there. But the fact that these developers and scientists are working towards goals, knowing that quantum will be in their future, it's actually really smart. And those are companies that I really like or the founders that I really like because they're thinking really forward. The other thing that I think is, is really needed is more venture. I think that I need more competition, if you will. I need, there needs to be more partners. And I think that when you support an ecosystem and when you naturally support founders, the foundational structure is built. And then on the venture side, we'll all end up making money just as a result.